was, was, um, was dated 17, that was on Friday, and they filed yesterday. And as soon as it was filed, it was served on them, and they had an interaction with him. And of course, uh, you are aware of, so, of the fact that um, law requires that um, charges can be amended and um, filed, even on the eve of the judgment of any case. So the mere refusal to take the plea today is one of the several antics exploited by the defendants to delay this case. But I want to assure you that the three days given by this honorable court shall be properly utilized, notwithstanding the fact that today has already been frustrated by an act of um, um, technicalities. We are ready to take it off tomorrow. When you say frustrated, who must amend the frustration? Well, of sir? course, the defense. I just took over the matter, and uh, you can see that God was on the throne as regards to these proceedings. Yes, I've now consulted my client, Namde Kano, as regards the, uh, the 15 count charge. Um, some of them, some of the statements made by Namde Kano that were also not clear which I pointed out to the court, the prosecution um, has been able to give me another clearer copy, which is legible. And with that, we will take the next step. Um, tomorrow, no one is running away from plea being taken. But the point we made today, which the court appreciated, is that you can't take plea to counts that have not even been given to you. We were served some minutes to 10 a.m. yesterday. A 15 count amended charge for a case coming up today. Whereas the last date of adjournment was 2nd of December. So they had well over one and a half months to have done that and served us. They didn't. So I believe that was intended to frustrate today's proceedings. In any event, that was the sixth time they are uh, amending the charge. Each time they amend, I will fire a preliminary objection. They go back to the drawing board to re-amend. So by the time we allow the plea taken tomorrow, by then we, we would have got into the bridge and then we would cross it. Because certainly and definitely and absolutely we are going to fire primary objection sure. so to this uh, to this counts. Many of them are, are just poor, poor, poor. The DSS are part and parcel of the democratic organogram we have. I don't think they are aliens uh, from another planet living on Mother Earth here. For the opt-in time today, the court emphasized to the DSS what they should do. In any civilized society, when you are trying an accused person. Give him facilities to defend himself. How do you keep a person in solitary confinement, sleeping on a flat six, um, um, six um, uh, inches bed? I mean, if a small, this small student's mattress with no pillow and, and expect the person to live a good, healthy life, and he's complaining that he's being starved, we put all this in their feed of it solitary confinement you are not allowed to greet any person to exercise and when other inmates greet you they are immediately taken to solitary confinement or to more serious security areas because they greeted you you are not are allowed to practice your jewish religion you're sure that you were all of them are seized well, I mean, the judge had to make another order today. He has been appearing in court all along with the same dress. He, he, the, the dress is not a uniform. It's because he has not been allowed to have another dress. So when you talk about a free and fair trial, 
all these are what section 36 of the constitution is about when it says a person should be given a free a free a free free hearing free hearing incorporates all this free hearing incorporates fair trial so if for example everything is weighted against an accused person and in favor of the prosecutor there was the justice that was the question i was asking the court you the, the prosecutor investigated they are the accusers they are the prosecutors they are again also keeping custody of the of the person then the person is worn out gradually psychologically mentally depleted psych psychically traumatized physically humiliated and debilitated in such a case you cannot say the person is undergoing a fair trial so these were the points i was emphasizing to the court today that even though you had made orders again and again and again these orders are being flouted brazenly with impunity so this 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 is where we are i believe that with today's proceedings there will be a change of heart on the part of the dss because the law is that a person should stand trial the reason they say stand trial is that you should be healthy enough to stand when you are being tried he didn't say sit trial or lie down trial or prostrate trial or be in the coma trial only the living can stand trial that's what the supreme court said say only the living can start trial in any event in any case even convicted persons who are on death row are still entitled to basic fundamental rights you can't say for example that because a person is on, on, on death row then you go there and be flogging him with a cane every day or you say you now tell him you can't even practice your religion contrary to section 38 of the constitution so even a convict has his basic right not to talk of a person who is presumed innocent under a system of criminal justice which is anglo-saxon based being accusatorial meaning your innocence is presumed not the french model which is inquisitorial where your guilt is presumed and all these have been encapsulated in section 36 of the constitution so i think by the grace of god we had a, a good day in the in the court thank you very yes much. yeah thank, thank you sir.